In this video, we're going to be going over the following problem. A band is wrapped tightly around pipes of radius 3 cm and 9 cm. What is the length of the band? Now, let's start by just identifying some interesting points on this figure. First off, I think that this point and this point are fairly interesting because at these two points, the band goes from being tightly wrapped around the small pipe to coming off of it. And for that same reason, I'd say these two points on the larger pipe are interesting as well. Now let's give each of these points a name. Let's call this one A, this one B, this one C, and this one D. And by drawing these points, we've effectively split up the length of the band into four different parts. We have the line segment AB, the arc BC, then the line segment CD, and the arc DA. And so the length of the band is going to be equal to the length of the arc BC plus the length of the arc AD or DA, whichever way you want to write it, plus the length of line segment AB plus the length of line segment CD. Notice that these two line segments are going to be of equal length because the figure is symmetric. And so we can just add two times the length of the line segment AB. BC and AD are arcs, which are portions of the circle's circumference. To find the length of the arcs, we need the circumference of the circles, which we can find because we have the radii, but we also need the angle measure of the arc. And to find the angle measure of the arc, we're first going to need to find the length of AB. So let's start with that. Let's say the center of the small pipe is roughly here, and the center of the large pipe is here. Let's call the center of the smaller pipe E, and the center of the larger pipe F, and now let's draw lines connecting the center of the circles to the interesting points on that circle. So we would draw the line AE, DE, BF, and CF. AE and DE are a radii of the smaller circle, so their length is going to be 3. The problem tells us that. And similarly, BF and CF are a radii of the larger circle, so their length is 9. The length of this line segment is just the radius of the smaller pipe plus the radius of the larger pipe. So 3 plus 9, which is 12. And here's the key to this problem. Starting from the center of the small pipe, so E, let's draw a line that's parallel to the line segment AB, such that it connects with the radius of the larger circle. So that line would look something like this. Let's call the point where the line segment we've drawn connects with BF. Let's call that G. Now let's take a look at the quadrilateral ABGE. It sure looks like a rectangle, but we can't just assume that it is. To prove that it's a rectangle, we need to show that each of its angles is 90 degrees. And to do this, let's imagine that we can extend the line segment AB in both directions. If you do this, then notice that the line will only touch the smaller pipe at point A and the larger pipe at point B. And so this makes line segment AB tangent to the circles at those particular points. And because of this, when the radii of the two circles touch that line segment AB, they're going to form 90 degree angles, and this makes the quadrilateral ABGE a rectangle. Since ABGE is a rectangle, AE and BG, which are sides that are opposite of each other, must be of the same length, so BG must be of length 3 as well. And since we established the length of the entire segment BF was 9, the remaining portion GF must be of length 6. And since EG and AB are opposite of each other, they must have the same length as well, so if we can compute the length of EG, we'll know the length of AB as well. Notice that we form the right triangle, GEF. This triangle has GE as one of its legs. We know its other leg is of length 6, and its hypotenuse is of length 12. So we can just use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of GE. So we have 6 squared plus GE squared equals 12 squared. And so GE squared is 12 squared, which is 144, minus 6 squared, which is 36. 144 minus 36 is 108, and the square root of 108 is 6 root 3. And so GE is of length 6 root 3, which means that AB is of length 6 root 3 as well. Now that we found the length of AB, Let's try to find the length of these two arcs. We're going to need to know what this angle is. And to do that, we're going to look at triangle GEF again. 
Notice that one of the legs of this triangle is half the length of the hypotenuse, and the other leg is half the length of the hypotenuse times root 3. So what we're dealing with here is a 30-60-90 triangle, where this angle is 30 degrees, since the side opposite of it is half the length of the hypotenuse. The third angle in the triangle then must be 60 degrees for the three angles to sum up to 180. Now if this angle is 60 degrees, then this angle must be 60 degrees as well. And if the total angle here is 360, then the angle of arc BC must be 240. 360 minus 60 minus 60. Now if we take a look at the smaller pipe, this angle is 30 degrees, and we know that this angle must be 90 degrees, since it's the angle of a rectangle. And so this entire angle here is 120 degrees, which means this angle must be 120 degrees as well, because the figure is symmetric, which means the angle of arc AD is 360 minus 120 minus 120, which is 120 degrees. The length of arc BC is going to be the circumference of the circle times the angle of the arc over 360, where theta is the central angle for that arc. The radius of the large pipe is 9, so it's going to be 2 pi times 9, which is 18 pi, times 240 over 360, which is 2 thirds. And so the length of arc BC is going to be 18 pi times 2, which is 36 pi over 3, which is 12 pi. We can use the same formula to calculate the length of arc AD. The radius of the smaller pipe is 3 centimeters, so we're going to have 2 pi times 3, or 6 pi times 120 over 360, which is 1 third, and 6 pi over 3 is 2 pi. So now we've computed the length of the four different portions of the band. We know the length of BC is 12 pi, the length of AD is 2 pi, and the length of AB and DC is 6 root 3. And so the length of the band is going to be the sum of those values, so 12 pi plus 2 pi plus 2 times 6 root 3, which is 14 pi plus 12 root 3. And so the length of the band is 14 pi plus 12 root 3 centimeters. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this problem. If you did, consider leaving a like. And if you want more content like this, make sure to subscribe so you'll be notified when I post more videos. Thanks for watching.